All right, I got all four pieces done here. I um, got all the bearings tight. You can actually feel when you're tightening the bolt, uh, right when it hits the bearing that it gets tight there. Um, just to make sure it's nice and tight and then um, it should be good. As long as the bearing doesn't move side to side and it spins nice and freely. But those are all four parts done and we're ready to move on to the next step. For the next part, you're gonna need the ruler assembly that we just assembled. Um, you're gonna have to do this for all four, but I'm just gonna show you one. You're gonna need four bearings. Two of the these bolts, I'm not sure what length, length they are, but you can get a rough estimate. Two nuts, and this gray um, plastic plate. Now when we put this plastic plate on, there's bumps r right here on this part, and there's bumps right on here. These are going to pinch the bearing together. Um, you want the smooth side of this plate to be facing out, and you want the top flat side to be on this side of the part with the cutout. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to insert one of your bolts to the plate, add a bearing, insert it into the part, and add a bearing right here. Try to get it aligned here. There we go. Just like that. Same for the other one. Stick the bolt to the plate, add a bearing. Add a bearing in here, and then put your nut on the end. And then you can go ahead and tighten these up the socket. You don't want to crack the piece at all. You just want to snug, snug it up. Those bearings are good. So there's that piece assembled. And again, like I said, you're going to want to do this for all four uh, roller assemblies. So I'll do that and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So to set up the frame, so to set up the frame you're going to need your four of your um, conduit lengths, your longer ones. You're going to need your four roller assemblies that we put together. These four little gray spacers, in my case gray, four top mounts and your four legs as well as these small screws which I don't think are three millimeter. I think they're imperial of some sort like number eight, number 10, something like that. And of, course, and of course the lock nuts and of course the uh, screwdriver. So the first thing you're gonna do is you wanna um, put the ruler assemblies on. Now it goes on pretty easy, but then this last bearing is a little bit of um, tricky to get on, but just because of the tolerances, but basically put it on and just give it a slap and it should run perfectly smooth and it will loosen up um, a little over time. So that's one done. So these gray pieces need to be facing out. So this rail um, we can put right here. This rail right here, we can put it over here. And this one we'll put down here. And the last one up at the top. So that's kind of the basic idea right here. So we're going to grab two of our legs. Now, they have these triangle pieces on. This is for the belt mounts. And you want the slope part of the triangle to be facing each other. So these parts will go like that with the screw holes facing out of the machine. You don't want them in towards the machine. So these will go here, and of course the other one's at the other end. So basically, just slop, pop the conduit in there. It doesn't have to be exactly at the end right now. Uh, my machine, my table's a little bit longer. So I have space to mount my uh, electronics up at this end, and then it should be like a one inch wider on each side um, than the machine is. So let's put it in like this for right now, and then we will square it up after we get all semi-assembled. Assembled. Now these little gray spacers go right on top in the middle. They basically hold the conduit where it needs to be. And now these gray pieces, same thing for them. They have a slope thing for the belts now. Uh, we have it set up so our belts will run this way and this way. We want the gray pieces to be facing this way. So the belts run on this side, obviously. So these two will go right here. These will go. We want the belts on the outside of the machine. What did we do wrong? 
All right, so that's basically the frame. Now, I'm just gonna put two bolts in cross corner just to hold everything in place. And then after I'm done squaring the machine up, I will come back and put the last four in. I'll just get these lock nuts started. That's kind of the basic procedure here. So I'll show you when it, what it looks like when it's all done. And uh, if you don't have a square, something square, um, check it out. I'm not going to get into explaining that. Basically, you just want to measure it, make sure it's square as you possibly can get it. Because the square, the more square it is, the better your machine will run. So I will probably go ahead and square it up, and then show you what it's like um, when it's all finished.